Hey, what's up guys, Luz here. First of all, don't forget to like and subscribe. Here with another video of the shop's progress. Um, yeah, uh, so I finished my rattle, which is what this video is mainly about. So I thought I'd show you the finished product. Turned out freaking pretty awesome. Bet you didn't know I was this good, huh? But yeah, I've been doing this for a while, man. Since I was like 19, 18, 17. I don't know, somewhere around there. But I'm 35 now, so a good long while. A lot of freaking days and nights practicing. Bunch of different pieces, man. So yeah, this is the first finished product on the channel. So I mean, what I'm working on now is... Um, I got a rattle I'm making too. I mean, not a rattle, but a, a paddle. And then a, I'm gonna be making a a mask. Where is it at? Over here, it's kind of like a messing around mask, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might, I'll, I'll still finish it. Um, I was using chisels for this. We still need to get another chisel set out here, so. Once that happens, we get a chisel set. Um, I'm gonna hook this vise up over here. Big old heavy duty vise. So yeah, that's gonna be hooked up to this table. That way, you know, it's gonna be put right there. That way you can like set up your mask in there. But the way you need to set up your mask is you need to have an extra piece at the top, like right here. And it needs to go out like this like say this is an extra piece so this piece it'll be cut like flat and then you can stick it into that vise you know what i mean we'll see we'll get there though so yeah man that turned out pretty awesome right yep yep and i put this uh i don't know what it's called but i don't usually use this stuff but it's pretty good the only thing you got to worry about is uh like it'll drip and it'll, it'll dry the way it looks dripped. So I tried to hit it with the brush before it dried, but it was just kind of smearing it away because it was like in between drying and freaking still wet. Like here's a piece right here. Yeah. But yeah, this is a uh, red cedar. And then another thing I noticed is the symmetry is off a little bit. It goes to the left. Like if I would have noticed it before I started painting it, I would have shaved this part down you know what I mean? But it still looks good. You can't really tell unless you're looking for symmetry. So I'm pretty much a perfectionist when it comes to that. So I'm always looking at stuff. If I would have caught it, I definitely would have fixed it. <clears throat> but it's good right now. So yeah, I didn't sand it. So I wanted to give it that textured look. More of a natural look. Which is pretty cool. I like doing that. I don't usually like sanding my pieces anymore. Just because it looks, it's got a good look to it, good texture. So yeah, <clears throat> put that down for now. We just got this freaking laser printer today. So we need to get an air compressor so we can clean it up. I need to look on YouTube. We need to get the manual for it too, but, but yeah, it's a laser printer. So I never used one, but I'm pretty sure once it all gets up and running, we need someone to get out here to know what they're doing, to know what they're dealing with, you know what I mean? Rather than just me trying to look it up on YouTube, or we definitely need a manual beside YouTube, you know, like a manual for this exact model. But this is gonna be pretty awesome. You can make stuff like necklaces, earrings. I mean, all you gotta do is put your design in there. Hook it up to a computer. I'm pretty sure we need to hook up a computer out here. I don't know what, what the deal is with that, where we even put the, Design. I'm sure, there's a hookup for the computer somewhere, or if we just put a, like kind of like a, you know a Xerox machine or whatever you call that. You know, you put the piece of paper in here and then freaking it copies it and maybe it's like that. I don't know. We'll see. But we just got that today, so it's pretty new. It's not new, new, but you know to us. <clears throat> so yeah, we got the bow making class uh, Thursday. It's uh, Tuesday right now, so. Here's my bow. I worked on it last week and I should have got pictures. I should have got video of it. Maybe I'll get a video of it this Thursday and Friday. The guy's coming out Friday too. 
So, yep, it's looking pretty good, man. Only thing I need to do, so I centered it, right, all the way down. But the only thing I need to do is, like, uh, taper it from the handle. Like, all, like, slowly going all the way up here. And it's going to be thin right here. And then I think we still need to make it bend. So there's a couple more processes we need to do. So Thursday is actually the last class, but he said he'll come out here if he needs to on his own. So yeah, there's still a couple uh blank pieces. There's still like at least two that, you know what I mean? We could uh, use for new people. So if you guys want to sign up, no, I'm just kidding. You guys are probably out of state and all that. So yep. Can't wait to set that up. It's like a saw too, like a table saw, but it's uh, mobile. So it's got wheels, you can move it wherever you want. And then uh, we're gonna start a community project where people can come in like on certain days and we're gonna be doing restoration of the, sto uh, the signs from the police station and from the uh, Koyu Oceanside Resort. And I'm gonna be making a library um, like a bookcase. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it. I, I think you might know what I'm talking about though. Like say it's the size of that fridge, right? But it's like a, like a cupboard and say it's even sitting that high. So that's actually a good, a good, um, <clears throat> a good, uh, comparison, I guess. Um, but it'll be sitting that high and then it's just going to be all wood, probably all cedar. You know what I mean? I'll probably make planks, you know what I mean? I'm not sure if I want to carve into it or if I want to paint it or if I want to do both yet. So I'll probably do this. Like we got a bunch of cedar over there in our other garage. And then I'll probably just tank it off in planks like this all the way down. And that'll be the, the four sides. <clears throat> but like a piece like this, uh, we'll probably make like say maybe three planks. We'll probably make one side. I'll just put it all together, but it'll be, it'll look pretty good, pretty professional. We need to get the glass. I thought about the glass too, cause it's supposed to be like a glass window, but that can be part of the uh, community project too, where people can come on certain days, like maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they can work on the library or whatever. And then, you know, Tuesday, um, Thursday, they can work on the signs if they want to, you know, signs are gonna be a little bit easier so I don't know what I want to do with this one yet. Either just, you know, slap, like cut another shape from the plywood over there, cut it to this shape, stick it on the back, and then sand this down a little bit just so the chips are off, and then just repaint it, you know what I mean? And then put a finish on it or something. Or just cut a whole shape out like that and then just redo it and then just do it on there. The whole freaking, the whole deal. You know what I mean? Put the design on there, copy it from this, you know, I'll probably take a picture of this or whatever. Or we can even stencil it, like put some um, cardboard or not even cardboard, but just really thick paper. And then just, you know, stencil the police, just stencil everything, you know what I mean? Cut it out with like an exacto knife and then just, you know, we could even spray paint it on onto the ply board. You know what I mean? Spray paint it white first and then spray paint it black with the stencil. And then that way we can just go over it with like the paint that we want. So that, that it's, it's going to be really easy to get the design on there. The only hard part is just cutting out the shape and then doing the stencil. So yeah, community work, man. That's what this place is all about. New beginnings and still me so far. So, but I'm doing fine on my own. You know what I mean? I work pretty good alone. Um, yeah, just getting those necklaces. Is, uh, I can't even talk right now. Necklaces made. Um, Pretty peaceful out here. Still waiting to get people over here into that building. So we were just talking about <clears throat> people being able to come out here when this is up and active. You know, it's gonna be a wellness recovery center. So there's a road out this way. And I'm thinking past there, that smokehouse in between those two buildings right there. Like if we go a little bit ways that way and then up this way is going to be the easiest way a little bit longer than going straight back this way but that way it should be easier past the tree line it should be more clear more open area like this so but i mean it would be cool to make a boardwalk all the way up to the road you know what i mean 
The only thing is once we get a certain way close to the road, like that's a hill up there, back there. So you'd have to make steps, right? Kind of like stairs, but that ain't no problem. The only thing we need to do right now is figure the path. So, you know, we need to figure out where the path, the easiest path is. Maybe not the shortest, but the easiest. You know what I mean? You don't want to be stepping over logs, you know, hiking up, hiking down. You want like the most straightest, easiest path first, no matter if it's taking a long time or whatever, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, we just need the easiest. But yeah, anyways, this um, was pretty much just to show you my rattle real quick. So I don't want this to turn into a long video because these videos take long to upload. For some reason this one's probably gonna take like 45 minutes so anyways yeah i'll be back on tonight live stream clash of clans if you didn't know i play clash of clans so i got five accounts so i'll be streaming tonight um <clears throat> yep i think that's pretty much it for now so yep don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time